And now I can hear it. Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your glorious Hump Day Wednesday Afternoon Devo. Part two of episode nine, uh, five, 1054. We were supposed to be talking about life everlasting in this one, but we missed yesterday. So it's now Wednesday instead of Tuesday. That was Tuesdays, and I missed it. So today we're going to be talking about tired tense. From Arthur Jackson, derived from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, through chapter 5, verse 5, or 3. 5. <laughs> so, if you're excited about this one, I hope you enjoy the video. I forgot to say the like challenge in the morning video. Sorry for that. But the like challenge, 5 Daily Devo, 5 Turning Point at 4 Likes Only, or all 10 Ten Commandment videos at four likes only, whichever one you want. And if the um, challenge is not met by episode 1100, then I will cancel it. So don't make me cancel it. Birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. Come on, people. Please do that. That would be nice to, to know if somebody's got a birthday that day. I can turn around and say happy birthday to them be nice to, to return the favor. Like you say, oh, so-and-so's birthday is today. Or I could come, go back at that comment and say, well, happy birthday. I could put their name in there, happy birthday. That's all you have to do. And if it's an anniversary, the same thing. If you got a parent, uh, aunt or uncle, or grandparents, or Something like that you want to wish a, you want you want to tell me if their if their anniversary? Let me know, and I'll say happy anniversary to so and so, to whoever it is. And then if you've got a prayer request, put it in the comment section, and I'll pray for I'll go back at you praying for you. Just like I hope you're praying for me in this in this mess that I got. I don't know what it is. I don't have no way to go find out what it is. So probably just a just a flu bug and it's one of those mean nasty flu bugs. They really did I really didn't let it get me down, but it's not let go, so <laughs> but um but Subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friend to help me at least reach the 50 mark, 50 subscriber mark. And right now I'm sitting at 40, still at 43. So just seven away from hitting that spot. And if you'll help me get to the 100 by May 27th, which is my three year anniversary on YouTube, um, episode 110. Three now since I've missed another day, had to push it back another day. Or August the first and late late it, August the first or as late as August the fifteenth to get it to a hundred. So if you do that for me, I'd greatly appreciate each and every one more than you ever imagined. So without further ado, let's talk about tired tense. Arthur writes. The tent is tired. Those were the words of my friend Paul, who pastors a church in Nairobi, Kenya. And since 2015, the congregation has worshipped in a tent-like structure. Now, Paul writes, our tent is worn out and is leaking when it rains. My friend's words about their tent, structural weaknesses, reminds us of the Apostle Paul's words, excuse me, regarding the frailty of our human existence. Hourly we are wasting away. While we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened. 2 Corinthians 4.16 and in 5.4, 5, 4, chapter 5, verse 4, is where it says, in the tent and groan and burden. So though the awareness of our fragile human existence happens relatively Early in life, 
we become more conscious of it as we age. It indeed time in indeed time picks our pockets. The vitality of youth surrenders reluctantly to the reality of aging. See Ecclesiastes chapter twelve verses one through seven. Our bodies are tents, get tired. So our bodies are considered a tent to our, our, our soul. And our, our bodies are getting tired. As we age, the, the tent becomes more frail. Before long it'll it'll rip. So we need to we need to we need to learn how to get it to repair it. To keep it from getting frail. But tired tents need not equate to tired trust. Hope and heart need not fade as we age. Therefore, we do not lose heart, the Apostle says, 2 Corinthians 4.16. The one who has made our bodies has made himself at home there through his spirit. And when his body can no longer serve us, we have a dwelling not a subject to break, not subject to breaks and aches, We'll have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven. 2 Corinthians 5, 1. So how, so how does it make you feel that Christ resides in you by his spirit? 2 Corinthians 5, 5. And when you find yourself groaning, how does prayer help you? Let me know in the comment section by putting Q1 or Q2 with your response. And it doesn't have to be your response. It could be it could be a response about somebody else in that same situation that you have noticed. So let me know. So um to ponder those questions by saying this Father, thank you for your continual presence. When I'm physically uncomfortable Help me to trust you even as I anticipate an eternal dwelling that will last forever. Amen? So your Bible reading today, we were supposed to read yesterday, we were supposed to read 1 Kings chapters 12 and 13 and read Luke 22, 1 through 20. But we missed that yesterday, so now we move on to 1 Kings chapters 14 and 15. And Luke 22, 21 through 46. If you feel like going back and catching up from it for just that one day, then feel free to do that. Or if you've already done it ahead of time, then that, that's good. If you're following along with this one. Coming up tomorrow in your uh, Star Wars, blessed, thankful Star Wars Thursday, May the 4th be with you, we're going to be looking at part 2 of episode 3, or 1055, and we're going to be operating with prayer, Jennifer Benzenshjolt, derived from 2 Chronicles 20, 1 through 12. So stay tuned for that, I'll get to that, I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that tomorrow for your Star Wars Day Thursday. <laughs> so, with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. They'll keep you safe and all you say to do it. 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later after seven. And we'll be talking about. We missed the one from yesterday. We we're supposed to be talking about what's missing in the word church. C-H, Blake, Blake, C-H. And we were supposed to say, and that was the one that had the two um, footnotes in it. Oh, darn. I could I could have done it. I could have done it if I had remembered. I could have come out here 8, 9 o'clock, record it, and turn around and post it. To get it out, but I didn't. Didn't think about it. Should have done it. But then I got hooked on watching 
the this new uh, video game come out was called it's called a uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and it's a continuation of the Fallen Order one they had out a few years ago. <clears throat> but I've got it hooked into that. It's like watching a movie somewhat, and the person I'm watching it from that's played this game. He's got it broke up in several videos, and it's hard to. And you get in, into a certain part, and the video it stops. You have to wait for the next one to finish that little bit up. And I'm I'm on a part where he just he's going to see his old uh, mentor, the one that saved him in Fallen Order at the beginning. He's going. They parted ways between the two for some reason and he's going to see her to see if she can help she can help out get to this this new world that's that's hard to get to it's on the other side of an abyss and they have to figure out how to get to it to be in a place where they nobody else can get to The only way they get to it is the there's a certain way of getting to it, and it's right now it's being blocked, so they have to figure out how to get through it, and that's what I could take. But it's a pretty good one. But that yesterday we were supposed to find out what's missing in the word church. You are. That's that's the way they've got it. But today we're gonna be, but. At seven, we're going to be talking about By All Means for episode five, uh, 30, I think. I think that's the next one I'm on. I think that's the next number. So. But by all means, 1 Corinthians 9.22 is our beginning passage, but we'll be reading it in the recommended reading, chapter 9, verse 19 to 23. So. And then our turning point is from Tony Ranky, Ranky, R E I N K E. And we have a footnote at the end of the first section. And then our Bible reading is 1 Chronicles 13 through 16. 13, 14, 15. So four chapters. Must be some shorter chapters. So, but stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after seven. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> so until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out till this. Have a great rest of your hump day, Wednesday afternoon. And we'll see you later after 7. So what it's going to be, hope to see you there. Come back and find out. So until then, goodbye.